Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Apologies for the lack of content, especially over the last while. All of us have COVID. So, um, taking care of your family of five while feeling awful would not recommend. It has been really hard. This eye has been twitching for almost a full week. I have not worn any makeup in over a week because I didn't want to have to throw things out, except for lip balm. But I was hoping I could film a really quick video before my voice completely gives out. While I'm sick, just have some content for you, and it's a video I've wanted to do for a while, like literally months, um, probably since the end of last year, honestly. And I thought it was extra funny to do it while sick as a dog, feeling like death. I have a hair like a cat fur or something on me so today's video is going to be going over all of the products that have expired that I have discovered in my collection it's honestly probably due for me to go through my collection again but um, I have like an old boxy charm box full as well as one of these bins full I have plenty to talk about today so we're going to be talking about things that have expired just like me I feel like I've expired I'm at the end it's time to throw me in the trash. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. As always, Domino, my filming partner, is here. He's on the window ledge, eyeballing the ceiling that he can get into above me. So we'll see how this goes. First up, <coughs> I have three pairs of lashes from Ardell that I bought a million years ago for like Halloween stuff. And they aren't, they just look awful. So like I'm never going to wear these. I have the Ardell Double Ups which I've worn quite a few times and they just look gross. The Ardell Curvy, can't really see those. And then this Corset Lashes which look extra like plasticky and gross. I'm just like, I'm throwing these in the trash. All this stuff is going in the trash. It's literally expired. This Witchcraft Rise and Shine High Gloss Plumping Top Coat. I never really liked this because as a plumping top coat, it looked, gave this really beautiful glossy kind of bubbled effect on the nails if you could get it to dry just right. But even if I didn't touch anything for like over half an hour, inevitably as soon as I touched something, there'd be big dents or scuffs in it. Like it never looked nice. And then it also expired pretty fast. Like now it comes out like extra gloopy and sticky like unusable the Bosha luminizing black mask a peel off mask this is super old in my collection and it smells really bad I can't really smell anything and has like separated so this is going to go <clears throat> this milk makeup cooling water this is just a mini one this dried out I don't enjoy these cooling kind of sticks anyways I don't find them overly hydrating but this got to be like hard as a rock even though I was using it consistently once I opened it um, I typically uh, use my skincare up pretty quickly this elf brow duo I actually really liked this and I would consider purchasing it again it's quite old um, I did hit pan on the more waxy side I have a very big dip in the powder side but it smells really bad now um, I can I can still smell it so that that tells you it smells really bad we're gonna do the lip products last because I'm realizing I have a ton of expired lip products which like I said, I think I pulled most of these at the end of last year, so I think my inventory for January was um, excluding most of these things. The ColourPop Super Shock in Melrose. This is a matte finish. wasn't one of my favorites, and it's hard as a rock. I know that there are ways to revive these, and I think I'd be more willing to try um, like reviving this if it were like one of their beautiful metallic shades, but this wasn't a shade I was reaching for anyways. So... Um, I also got this in 2015 or 2016, like, it's okay. The Butter London Stroke of Wow Roll on Precision Eyeliner. Uh, this separated and went bad really fast, but I only used it a handful of times because it had one of those, like, pizza cutter wheels, uh, that you, like, rolled on, and it 
was super weird to use. I didn't like it and then it went bad. Anyways, two things that have dried out. The It Cosmetics Brow Power Brow Pencil dried out on me. It was always a stiff and dry formula, but I even like broke off a chunk to try and get it to like do anything. Nothing comes off of it. I'm not ripping out all my brow hairs for that. The Jante Blue Eyeliner Pencil in Dark Brown, same sort of thing, like it's, I have to press so hard to get this to work even after sharpening it, so I'm not going to scratch my eyeball to pieces. Sorry if I'm so, <laughs> I feel like I look so miserable in today's video, but we're on the mend. I'm actually feeling much better than I was. Um, it, it's it's been rough but again I don't need to be filming now you guys would understand but I thought it was like extra funny to be talking about expired makeup when I feel like this so here we are the Colourpop Supernova shadow in UF Whoa. I bought this on Kathleen Light's recommendation and never really liked it um, I feel like mine was kind of dried out from the time I bought it because it was never fully coating the applicator and now it's like 100% dried up again I know there's a way to revive these things. I didn't like it to begin with, so I'm not going to revive it and struggle through panning it. I can let it go. Oh, another pencil product. This is the Ardency and Modster eyeliner in the shade Gold, Brain Fog. Um, again, like nothing's really coming off. I was using this a little bit recently because it's one of my very oldest makeup products in my entire collection and I would just have to like put it on my eye over 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 and then it wouldn't really last so it seemed kind of silly. One more product before we hop into lip products. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. This is the one thing that isn't expired here but I'm decluttering it and I literally just did this right before I got sick so this was feeling like it was almost gone. So with brow gels like this. I don't like removing the stopper and then trying to use it um, for reasons like this. Do you see how much product is on this? Like absolutely coated. So what I like to do is take the stopper out, stir everything around really good, like loosen it up from the walls of the tube and then put the stopper back in. And then I usually do that like three-ish times before I'm like, okay, like I'm kind of sick of doing that. I accidentally shoved the stopper down and I, I couldn't get it back out like it's fully at the very bottom and this is like a three dollar product so and it was also like not my fave and I just bought a new brow gel oops I didn't mean to do that but I am not using it like this like I'm not going to scrape off five pounds of tinted fibrous brow gel and risk putting this in my eyebrows when I got somewhere to go. You know what I mean? And it wasn't like it was new. It was pretty old. It wasn't expired. But goodbye. Okay. Now this is a full bin of, I'm not even in frame, lip products. I don't even know how many are in here. We'll go through it together. All of these lip products have either completely dried out like dry liquid lipstick, cracked cement, dried paint in the tube, you get the gist. They smell awful, either like really bad chemicals, sour play-doh, um, really old school like grandma dollar store kind of makeup when it didn't originally. And the Bite Beauty products, one smell bad and two look suspiciously like mold though it could be wax bloom but combined with the fact that they don't smell good we're getting rid of them so let's start with the bite beauty i have my mini lipstick in chai both of these were the birthday gift like a long time ago this one looks fine but it smells bad and because these are like made with food grade ingredients they kind of smell like bad food and i also have the matte creme lip crayon in glace this one has the wax bloom slash mold. I'm not really sure, but I'm definitely not going to be using these. Everything else, I'm just going to reach in at random. This Buxom White Russian um, 
these have like a pepperminty smell. I don't know why I'm trying to smell everything when I can't really smell. This smells like sour peppermint. Yeah. Um, a lot of color pop in here. So I have, I think this was an ultra matte, but could be satin. It's all rubbed off. This is a magic wand. One of my favorites. I'm sad it went bad. This is an ultra satin lip in Mess Around. I only wore this a handful of times. It was not a favorite, but again, smells really bad. The ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Taurus. This is the only lippy sticks I've had go bad on me, which I find very strange, but look at that. That is not just wax bloom. It cannot be. It is changing colors. Colourpop Ultra Satin in point zero. Again, a really cool toned shade that I just wasn't wearing and again, doesn't smell good now. Okay, I guess that was it for Colourpop. I have two of these, Maybelline, what were these even called? Color Sensational Elixirs. I never was really a huge fan of this formula and now they smell weird. So I'm getting rid of both of those. They're like a really thick, lip gloss I guess. To Ofra, this is a super duper old shade in Pasadena. I have a newer one and this one is pretty dried out and just ancient so I'm getting rid of this. The Ofra liquid lip in Napa Valley. I've only worn this like three times. It's a very dark metallic purple. It was kind of like my Halloween witchy kind of lipstick but it doesn't smell great. I'm not keeping it around for next year. This Elf Alyssa Ashley lip gloss in Nude Rose was a dupe for Fenty Glow. I really did like this, but again, smells bad. The Ades HD liquid lipstick doesn't have a name. Ooh, gross. Smells awful, really gloopy, sticky. Real Her, I Am A Rock Star, Lady Love, something. This has got to go. The Too Faced Melted Matte in Queen Bee. I don't know if you can see. I'll pop in a little close up picture. I'm doing it right now just on my camo leggings. So you can see like how dried out and cracked this is. Um, yeah, like literally completely dry. The NYX Liquid Suede in 11, I think this was Kitten Heels. I'm really sad about this one because this was my go-to red liquid lipstick. I now have one from Dose of Colors, which I also like, so I don't need to go repurchase it, but I really did like this liquid suede. Um, not like super, super comfortable where I would want to like go get different shades, but for a red, I am really comforted when I know my red lip isn't going to move. Another e.l.f. gloss, this is in Brian, also smells awful, and it was a really light shimmery pink, not really my vibe. Why am I like on the wrong side? I don't know. This is Makeup Forever 105, super dried out. e.l.f. liquid lipstick in the shade Berry Sorbet. This one smells bad and also was not a formula I liked to begin with. This Juice Beauty lip gloss in the shade Fig smelled so bad. This is another one of those brands that uses more natural types of ingredients. And it also was like not a shade that I really liked. It was super glittery and like this warm kind of like rusty kind of shade. I don't know, it just wasn't very flattering on me. And we have made it to the last product. This is one of my very oldest bullet lipsticks and I think it's just time for it to go. I can't even open it. It just smells old. This is the CoverGirl lipstick in the shade 255 Tempting Toffee. I feel like this was a shade a lot of people were talking about for a long time. Um, again, like five plus years ago. I always feel really sad when I realize my makeup expires, but like of course it does. And I always keep things way beyond actual expiration date. I don't throw things out unless the formula has changed or starts to smell or things like that. 
before I accidentally shoved the stopper all the way into the product. But yeah, I'm finally able to throw these things out. My eye is twitching really bad, so I apologize if that is noticeable on camera. Uh, like I said, it's been twitching for like all week. I don't know why. It feels good to be throwing these things in the trash and I definitely need to go through my collection again. Let me know in the comments down below if anything has expired in your collection that you have discovered or if you're just really great at using up all of your makeup before it goes bad because that would be very impressive to me. I hope that I am able to put up my deck of panning update which should go up next but I don't know. I will try. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a really long time so I kind of want to sit and chat but I also just want to shower and go to bed if you know what I mean. So if you did enjoy this rough video then do give it a thumbs up so that I know and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!